Underwater robots are studying the Doomsday Glacier in Antarctica. What can we learn? Scientists in West Antarctica have captured a first-of-its-kind seafloor mapping near the world's widest glacier, which is shrinking at a pace that could one day raise global sea levels up to 10 feet, according to the University of South Florida. US, UK, and Swedish researchers deployed underwater robots close to the seafloor of the Thwaites Glacier to retrieve data, said Dr. Alistair Graham, a geological oceanography associate professor at the University of South Florida. Graham led the study released Monday. The major concern with the Thwaites Glacier, also nicknamed the Doomsday Glacier, is its size. The approximately 70,000 square mile glacier is as big as Florida, according to Graham. Researchers in June said the glacier may be losing ice at its fastest pace in the past 5,000 years, according to the International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration. It locks up so much sea level in that one glacial system that we can't not focus attention on it because it's critical to how we view our shorelines, Graham said. Thwaites has the potential to rewrite our coastlines for everybody on the planet. Here's what to know about the retreating Thwaites Glacier. Point one particular seafloor area showed Thwaites retreated over a six month period, though Graham said it's not clear when it happened. It could have been, maybe 200 years ago, or maybe even more recently in the mid 20th century, so the 1940s or 1950s when we weren't even watching Thwaites, Graham said. But it was going back at a rate that's at least twice what it's retreating at right now. There's a high chance of a repeat occurrence, Graham noted. It's highly likely that in the future, we'll see these kind of events happening again, a really quick retreat where there is a lot of ice going into the ocean very quickly, he said. What happens if the Thwaites Glacier collapses? Thwaites and some nearby glaciers experience a net loss of about 50 million tons of ice annually, Scambos said. We think that it's very upwardly mobile, because it's on the verge of retreating into some fairly deep areas in the interior of West Antarctica, he said. If the massive glacier's ice melted, it would have a global impact, according to Graham. Every coast, every nation with a coastline would see the effects of Thwaites losing all its ice to the ocean, he said. The resulting sea level rise wouldn't affect all coastlines equally, Scambos explained. It's not like filling up a bathtub, where everything rises evenly he said. Locations farther away from Thwaites, like the tropics, would see higher sea level rise than areas closer to where Thwaites is losing ice, according to Scambos.